Hi, this is module 26 of Mechanics and Materials Part 1. Today's learning outcome is to describe a procedure for finding the principal stresses and principal planes on a 3D state of stress uh, by solving the eigenvalue problem. And so we looked at uh, 3D state of stress earlier in the course. Remember, for an arbitrarily, arbitrarily loaded member, uh, you may have complicated uh, stress uh, distributions. And so uh, your stresses may not be uniform on arbitrary planes, but if we shrink down and look at an infinitesimally small point, that stress distribution does approach uh, uniformity. And we also said that you could pass an infinite number of planes through that point uh, to find the stresses on, on the different planes. Uh, we're going to show again today that really all we need is three mutually perpendicular planes to completely describe the state of stress at a point. And uh, hence, we're going to use a cube to, to represent the state of stress at a point, and, and it's shown here. So here is my 3D state of stress shown in a positive sign convention. Uh, remember by equilibrium that the, these shear stresses are equal, and the stress is represented in a matrix as a tensor. And as I said before, a tensor represents a physical or geometric property or quantity uh, by a mathematical idealization of an array of numbers. And you can look back to my earlier course, Advanced Engineering uh, Systems in Motion or Dynamics of 3D Motion, Module 20. I, I discussed tensors there. And so I can put my tensor or my state of stress in a a matrix, remember these off-diagonal terms are equal by equilibrium, and here's the matrix notation. What I'd like you to do now is to go back and review modules 24, 25, and 26 of my advanced course on three-dimensional dynamic motion, and in that those a series of modules, we looked at something called the inertia matrix, which was also a tensor representing uh, physical quantities with an array of numbers. And so these are completely mathematically analogous. And if you recall back and you look back at these earlier modules, you noticed we found that for a particular coordinate or orientation, the products of inertia would vanish and we arrived at what we called the principal moments of inertia with respect to principal axis. And that, uh, that matrix looks like, looked like this. Now, we can do the same thing with our tensor, our, our, our matrix array of uh, stresses. And so for a given general set of stresses shown here, uh, there is a particular coordinate or orientation where the shear stresses vanish and we arrive at what are the principal normal stresses acting on the principal planes. And we call those sigma 1, sigma 2, and sigma 3. Now, we found sigma 1 and sigma 2 for two-dimensional plane stress using, um, using Moore's circle. Uh, we're going to use uh, this technique to find the three principal stresses in, in this module, which could also be used in uh, the plane stress problem. But this is, we're, we're going to use something called the eigenvalue uh, problem. And so uh, for this matrix notation, again, we're going to go to uh, our principal stresses, and this is solved via the eigenvalue problem. Again, go back to my 3D course to see what the eigenvalue problem is all about. And the eigenvalues are the principal stresses, and we get a minimum, uh, a maximum, and one in between, and those are on my diagonal. And the corresponding uh, eigenvectors are the, th the, uh, the three sets of direction cosines which define the normals to the three principal planes where these principal stresses occur. And so I can orient my block uh, in such a manner that I get three principal stresses, no shear stresses on those faces. And so now we can see uh, from my first slide in, in, in this module that you can orient the block uh, in any direction and completely describe the state of stress at a, a, at a point for three dimensions using just a, 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 a cube with uh, three or, orthogonal faces. And so uh, just another way of, of, of looking at uh, uh, stresses and the state of stress at a point. And I'll see you next time.